Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the precinct. Oh, woo 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 indeed. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills' office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. And if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and hidden just his boxers. I wouldn't be so optimistic. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, uh, great. But uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dial is described as the office. Was he calling? There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners.
Like I told those cops. No ambulance. Just leave me be. You've tried to rob a corpse. Now I am truly offended. Without me, these cops would have turned to ash. I should get a medal for it or something. You avoided death. Take it as a sign to change your life. Start by helping me with this investigation. Damn, are you a preacher in your spare time or something? We can talk. Just quit bugging me with your conversion bullshit. What do you know about that car? Uh, I know the guy who owns it. I mean, I knew him. He always stopped here to pick up this blonde gal. <laughs> Real peach, I'm telling you. <laughs> High class. Describe the woman. Uh, she likes jewelry, but she's not covered with it like a Christmas tree. She knows how to wear it. That much I can say.
Ah, they say we're in a record-breaking recession, but people are throwing away things that still work. Oh, this underwear looks almost new. I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about elections, but they give free food for handing out flyers. long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. you, officer. I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A key card issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right.
things to throw away. I regularly clean my workspace. I don't like to be distracted by anything. No new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh God, could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. Gee. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, about 50 years too young. have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. Of course he went to get some burgers. Where's my burger?
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Customize your uh, your default weapon with these chips that you pick up, and then you can customize the chips as well. Very cool. Hope you enjoyed. This allows you to upgrade your weapon with a variety of different effects using the chips that you find in the uh, crates throughout the game. And then you can also merge some of the, the chips to get uh, additional effects. Oh, there it is. That's the piece I need. And just like that, I got a weapon that's a lot better. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've collected a few of these motherboards throughout the game so far, but this 5.1 is definitely the best, or 5.2 I should say. That's the tutorial one they give you, only a few upgrades, and then they get better. I think that's the one I was using for the majority of the game, or no, not that one. Uh, maybe that one. <laughs> I used the three points, skipped right over the fours, and now I got a five, so that's definitely where it's at. Yeah, overall I would rate this game pretty high. I like a nice, uh, simple game with a few complex mechanics, but one that you don't have to sink a hundred plus hours into. I know a lot of people like those in-depth games and for my part I certainly do as well. But sometimes you just want a game you can play and knock out in a few hours. 20-30 hour game. Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Cusack's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh. Too bad for him. I... 
kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? A witness testified that you met with Mr. Page shortly before he died. I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. Yeah, blonde hair that's so blonde, it's almost green. It's like when you have people with uh, black hair that's so black, it's almost blue or purple. <laughs> I always wondered if there was a man hiding under that shiny armor. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I thought that uh, Adam was like typing something in like a forward slash to post that announcement. I don't think it does it automatically. Maybe it does, but I feel like people have to like trigger that to happen. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Yeah, definitely. I like seeing those alerts pop up. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. Oh boy, she knows her knots. <laughs> this looks like a fun room. Where's my soundboard at? Oh my. Is it officer? I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Being restrained is exciting only for those who are truly free. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often, too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills's campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills's campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. 
We have a problem. Locating her. But I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. Really? Maybe? But Westy always uses his computer. That's why he uh, was asking for uh, me to remember to, to tag everybody. Because I think he doesn't use uh, mobile for Discord. And Where is Agatha? A very but good his question. doesn't show up either. When you left, I came inside to take her statement. But there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Well, again, more importantly, where's these burgers that y'all were talking about? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. He fired her instead. Well, that's the thing. Uh, Westy never has announcements like that pop up. It's only Adam. That's what makes me think like he's doing something to uh, trigger that message. Because Westy is here for almost every stream as well. And his that's never happened. Maybe it only appears if you're on uh, a Mac. Well, Pally says he gets the bonuses for uh, streaming for attending multiple streams in a row, but I thought that was just an automatic thing. As far as the alerts, though, I've only seen those pop up from Adam. Adam, how you do that? Where you at? I know you're here. I'm right. He is here. How do you do it? <laughs> A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we can push it. The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Oh, look at this. Maybe this is like T3. Open sesame. Ah, sure. Keep reminding me of the delicious sesame sprinkled burger buns we haven't eaten yet. That's the problem. Simon, I can't forget. You're ruining my career. I want those burgers. Come on. You're an obstacle. Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things. 
and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. <laughs> oh, man. At least you get a burger, dude. Another motherboard. What do we have here? Oh, that one looks like fun. Huh. It's got four special effects. So does mine, though. I don't know. I like mine. It's hard to tell what's better unless you really delve into it. Very weird. I'm surprised there's not like a huge Reddit thread about it. Even still, though, like Max Multiplier then gets bonus because of uh, consecutive streams. Like, that's how Westy has so many best cars already after spending. Um, the 100k that plus i think he said if you do the cheers on occasion it'll boost your multiplier that just reminds me we need to finish designing your uh, unique power i already have an idea for it but i want to run it by you before um it's fully in place. In effect, I was thinking a uh, an undead henchman that is uh, unkillable and can get its own turn in the initiative. And on that turn, it has one of two... You can choose one of two major effects that it has, either to aid in the offense of the group via its uh, whatever offensive power I design, or it can be an extra healing source for the group. And because it's an actual figure, it can move around as opposed to being a power that you yourself activate and it focuses from your point of view. Like, you still have to summon the thing into existence but that's like a one-time thing since it's unkillable. And in that same respect, that can go to either uh, Boomkin or Engelbert, if you wanted to bring her back in with that power.
Yeah, exactly. Engelbert. If uh, that is what you would like to do. <laughs> Observing your, uh, your comments about uh, what you would kind of like it to be, this uh, seems to hit all of the, uh, the check boxes. Uh, if I'm thinking, if I'm seeing it correctly. What a surprise. That sounds exciting. Back already, Grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. Maybe you're more like me, and you get a headache just thinking about politics. Well, uh, either way, the the henchman is the power. It's just a matter of which character you want to assign it to. You can put it on Boomkin, who's already in play, or you can bring back Engelbert and put it on her. Uh, theoretically, Engelbert could go over to G3 if you wanted, and you move Boomkin out and keep Belial in G1, like any number of options in that respect, but the power is the uh, the henchman. It's just a matter of which character you want to put it on. Oh, for sure, no rush. We got a, a few days ahead. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah.
You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real RoboCop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. Wow. <laughs> Well, I don't like taking people's characters away from them. Um, sometimes the dice kind of make that happen just in and of themselves, but I thought I was pretty clear at the time that if you went with him, then yeah, you were removing the character from the group, but as there was a uh, miscommunication there of some sort, uh, bringing the character back is certainly an option. For sure. Yeah, first uh, tabletop experience. Sometimes uh, the far-reaching effects of our decisions are not uh, entirely evident until you're in it. <laughs> Wow, this place is pretty big. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. 
You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, <laughs> they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? As an OCP machine. That is correct. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I do not know what I am. I can understand why you still find this confusing. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine would bother to help a drug addict believe that there is a place for him in our society? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? What an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. Back in one moment. Okie doke, back. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I oh, boy. Signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! 
our side. Oh. Oh. She will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Man, with all the armor these guys got, those nut shots come in fucking money. to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room is getting awfully hot.
concentrate on the positive Olivia. I got a trophy for saving the cat. <laughs> a real hero. Shot nut kill. <laughs> We'll make our way.
We've made it. Oh, thank God. But what should we do now? My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find the guilty party using your computer's coordinates. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. <laughs> Robocop got jokes. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative, Murphy. Needs out. some rubble. No, but it that. might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of X-ray vision. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicken train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. Yeah, motherfucker, go use that entrance over there by the overpass. Mm -hmm. Like a motherfucking bulldozer.
Sorry about that. Somebody was at my front door. Wanted to see what they were up to. Look like possible community painting project. Maybe they're going to touch up our front door. It's starting to peel a little bit, but otherwise looks pretty good. They were carrying a big bucket of paint, so my insight check <laughs> tells me it has something to do with painting. Was their deception check much more? Perhaps they were selling brownies out of that paint bucket. I don't know, that's weird. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they had the wrong apartment. They're waiting for somebody to open the door and then splash the hell out of them. <laughs> Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be a bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact if back up. Stay safe. Oh boy, Robocop versus TMNT versus Batman. I kind of feel like the turtles would take Robocop down. There's four of them. And they got that ninja training. Oh, damn. Bad day at the office for this guy. What do you mean, victim? There's two of them. Unless the guy is split perfectly down vertically, and this is, in fact, his back <laughs> laying next to him. I guess it's possible. <laughs> Perfect strike in the right direction. He falls apart in two different ways. I did not just hear an Ed 209 down here in the sewer. No way. Oh, geez, yeah. Like in uh, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, exactly.
like my new ability, Vitality is maxed out, so now I regenerate all the way up to 75%. Got these skill trees pretty well maxed out the way I like it. I wouldn't mind getting focus up higher to have the extra slow motion, but that seemed kind of uh, kind of just extra at this point. Same thing with combat, doing extra damage. Like I do plenty of damage. It feels like scanning could be cool, but eh. Psychology could be cool to get up to the max, but uh, I don't know how much more XP I'm going to get in this game. It feels like I'm getting near the end, but that could still be a few more chapters. Sorry, trying to arrange uh, family stuff in the background here. I'll be uh, probably closing out within the hour here once I get the, the call. Ah, uh, very cool. Some wild progress. Status, baby! 
Look at that guy's shadow right there. That was epic.
don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. Living in the sewers. Oh, wait. <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> the double. That was fantastic. Well, that was rude, and very well aimed. Oh, that's awesome. I got a trophy for hacking the turret.
Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch. I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. the files that you sent us and it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation and get this it's taking place right now to put a cherry on top the old man is in attendance just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place and you'll catch the old man red-handed that is how I prefer to catch criminals I didn't know today's bringing I you to the work. I know how to sew. 
Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have Welcome time. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. I know who you How are. How may I help lady? you? You broke into the security room. You're up to something. A meeting hey, regarding Robo, Afterlife you resolve this is issue taking we're place having? right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. But you don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir! Sir! Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene, the way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Concern for our employees, Omni Consumer Products have purchased new sleeping bags. You will be notified by your supervisor about your options. And remember, your efforts are paying off. Over here, could you help me with these doors? Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass boss will chew my ear off about it. Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed.
So, you're still here? Security computers connect to a network. It is worth checking if there is another system that needs rebooting. Yeah, it's all brand new. Hasn't been tested before implementation. My boss's idea. I should go and check it out. I'll be on my way. Estimates. Do you have them? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. I did some... shuffling. Thank you. The people of Old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them.
beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. <laughs> you probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people. Crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. That's why I wouldn't mind you giving me a nod during your public appearances. We need a little push in the ratings. Remember, it's your freedom we're talking about. Anyway, great talk. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. I'm as fresh as a daisy. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. He takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife. OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure Afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life, or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, 